We have new information tonight on a past we on this past weekend's stabbing in Warsaw. Police say a man put a 20-inch long gash in an 18-year-old's arm early Saturday morning. News Channel 15's Adam Widener spoke exclusively with a witness, and Adam, what did he have to say? Well, Heather, he calls it an unusual accident. What started as a teenage party ended with a heart-stopping trip to the hospital. It was a freak accident. We didn't know what was going on. This usually quiet neighborhood in Warsaw wasn't so quiet early Saturday morning. And when you think it's somebody you know and, and you're so close to and something happened to make something like this happen is just crazy. 30-year-old Michael Bryant and his girlfriend were invited to a get-together by 18-year-old Cody Sloan. According to the host, he overstayed his welcome within minutes. I told him to get out and he did and then that's when the argument started going on. As Bryant was leaving the party, Sloan was with him. That's when police say Bryant pulled out a four-inch blade and made a 20-inch gash on Sloan's left arm. That's about the size of my shoulder to my wrist. Sloan immediately started gushing blood and collapsed right here. Officers that actually arrived uh, first uh, were, were hard to believe that he was actually still alive because of the massive amount of blood that had been lost. He got stabbed three times, one up here and one right here and one right here. Sloan had at least one artery severed. His friend had just gotten back from visiting him in the hospital this afternoon. He says the 18-year-old is doing better, but is clueless to why he was stabbed. I tried to help him as much as I could, and I guess we saved his life by wrapping the sweatshirt around his arm. He died once on the way to, up to the hospital. They got him back, and he did pretty good through the surgery. Now, Sloan's friend says that he should be out of the hospital within the next couple of days. There has been a warrant issued for Bryant's arrest, but the police have not found him yet. We're live in News Control. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.